feels irritated when we helpless at that time we become the victim in any of the cyber crime situation we all are suffering from such issues in our day to day life so today's webinar will help us of all of us to get aware about the cyber crimes and other security issues to become inclusive informed engage balance and alert so let's have a talk on cyber safety awareness i am karishma walia from pyba the student of vpms rz shah college so today it is a great opportunity for me to welcoming you all for today's webinar i would like to invite our respected principal mrs kavita sharma our vice principal mrs anjanika uday our commerce head and vice principal mrs barkha shamnani i feel privileged to extend my warm welcome to all present here for the webinar it gives me immense pleasure to extend a very warm welcome on behalf of vpms rz shah college to our guest speaker dr arundhati govind koskari now i let me introduce you all to our today's guest speaker dr arundhati govind koskari educational she is an educational consultant for cambridge international school motivational speaker and corporate trainer ma'am is an eminent educationalist for the past 36 years with 21 years in the leadership role has a principal director and management representative of reputed cambridge international schools and ib world schools ma'am is master ma'am has done her master in science in zoology and made ma in english literature phd education in ndhs atcl diploma in communication skills Dr Arundhati is multifaceted multitasking trained in international curriculum pedagogy and leadership she is motivational speaker trainer a freelance journalist whose articles have appeared in international newspaper four books authored by her are available on amazon she has published more than a dozen research articles papers in national and international isbn issn journals she has a multilinguistic who fluently converses in 10 languages her voice is recorded for uno charter in three languages and is available on uno official website she is a trainer she is a trained classical singer a self taught visual artist a poetess who has been felicitated in malaysia and sri lanka for poetry she is a keynote speaker panelist and a moderator for many national international conferences she is an avid traveler who has visited 21 countries dr arundhati has received many awards accolades on national and international platforms now we would like to present a token of love to felicity feli facilitated our today's guest speaker dr arundhati now i would like to invite our respected principal mrs kavita sharma to present her thoughts good morning all it's my honor and privilege to welcome dr arundhati huskari at this occasion of international women's day madam is going to speak about cyber awareness i think that is the need of the day and without uh, uh, taking much time because we are already uh, uh, late by 10 minutes so i will request ma'am who is a, a known personality in i think uh, she has got too many uh, uh, feathers to her cap and uh, listening to her uh, uh, cv i think students uh, need not uh, uh, you know look anywhere than uh, dr arundhati so not coming between the students and our guest speaker i warmly welcome dr arundhati on this occasion of international women's day and uh, i uh, request ma'am uh, to deliver her speech uh, yes ma'am ma'am over to you am i audible yes 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 ma'am i'm taking from all over to you ma'am yeah thank you so much uh, i mean uh, tarishma and thank you uh, ms kavita for introducing me so warmly and welcoming me it's an immense pleasure for me 
at the outset, can you please put it on the speaker view? Why it is uh, not? One minute, please. Um, all right. So it gives me an immense pleasure to be with you all on this platform. And at the outset, I first welcome all of you, each woman over here, wishing you all a very, very happy International Women's Day. And also, it's not that only like, you know, we are ruling the world and we are doing, it wouldn't be possible for us to do anything without men folk in our lives in the form of a father or a grandfather or husband or son or grandson, whatever role they play in us. So thank you all the men who have joined this, uh, on, uh, joined us on this occasion. So without, uh, see, as far as I'm concerned, I am very, very passionate about what I do. That is perhaps my strength, I would say. I love to learn and I love to share my knowledge and that's all I can uh, talk about myself. Uh, all right, so let's proceed now. I'll be sharing my slides and I'll be talking about uh, cyber safety awareness. And this is actually a very, very important thing for us, all of us rather. And uh, it's not that only women should know or men should know, but it's the need of the hour for anybody and everybody and all of us. And uh, let's, uh, without uh, wasting our time, let's begin with the actual uh, session. Are you all able to see this, uh, see the screen? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma all right, all right. Okay. Now, uh, all the participants, there is one request, like whatever questions you have, you could type in the chat box. Don't unmute in between unnecessarily. Last May, when I'm uh, discussing, you are welcome to share your thoughts or you can ask questions and I'll answer those questions. So last 10 minutes, I'm planning to keep for uh, discussion only. So till then, it's a humble request, keep all the mics muted so that you get maximum out of this uh, seminar. And actually, I am a cybercrime intervention officer, CCIO, and a volunteer with Isaac uh, Cop Connect. And uh, it's my passion. It's not that I'm going to crack the CBI cases or fraud cases or something like that. But I, my, I have taken it up as a mission to spread my knowledge to others. So that is the purpose of doing this course also and what I am done. So. All right, now coming to what is happening today. See, gadgets and internet are controlling our life. They are ruling our life, I could say. You go to office, there are so many things, scary videos are circulated that, oh, Wi-Fi is very dangerous. It's going to take care of the brain. Have we all stopped doing it? No, we are still using the gadgets. But there is a way to use it. And now today life has become like this. 25 years back, I used to know at least 100 phone numbers by heart. I'm not exaggerating. I never, I, I would feel lazy even to pick up that small, uh, you know, phone book from uh, my bag and uh, surf. So I used to remember them. Today, the halat is like this. I remember only my primary phone number, which I rampantly use. The second phone number, which I use, I have to search the number because I'm not sure. So that is our thing because our brain also is very tricky. It takes so okay. Like, you know, you have something else to do, then let me relax. So that part of the brain relaxes. So today what is happening is all of us are hooked to gadgets, whether it's a Facebook. It's a myth that only teenagers are on Facebook. It is complete myth, right? From preteens to teens to middle-aged and the old people, everybody is on the Facebook. And everybody is following Twitter. So these gadgets are actually ruling the world. Today, actually, we have become completely impersonal. Even when we go for a walk, we are on our own mobile. We won't even bother to say hi and hello to others. And how the dinner and lunch happen at home. Even if you sit on the same table, you are sitting with your mobile. Each one of us are sitting with our own gadgets. Either we are reading something on Kindle and then eating. This is a very unhealthy way. We all know, but we are all hooked like that. Now you may ask, like, you know, then what is the thing? Like, you know, you mean to say that we have to stop using the gadgets? No, we, we can use but we have to be judicious. That's what we are going to see. And this space actually 
today it has made our life completely easy i completely agree without gadgets we can't imagine how we are going to survive whether it's our cell phone or whether it is anything but to try to understand one thing there is a limit we have to understand it it is a matter of conveniences but it is also a very scary space around lot of things happen in our uh, on the internet space or a cyber space that is what we are going to uh, discover so if you look at this cute picture everything like you know we have got uh, i mean whatever happens in cyber crime on the internet we have done so we'll be discussing all this so basically cyber crimes means actually see there are a lot of threats on social media i'll be discuss discussing in detail financial frauds i'll be talking little bit gaming unfortunately i cannot take because gaming itself is a very big topic sex extortion i'll just fleetingly mention and then sugar daddies and sweet aunties and online porn and uh, pedophiles and a threat to children and uh, dark web business and data theft and business cyber stalking so all these things are there many of us will not even care to read or care. some sporadic uh, things are reported on the newspaper but what newspaper reports is hardly 1% of what is happening around in cyber space so sometimes some whatsapp forward comes or sometimes we watch in the uh, news or sometime but you we don't pay so much attention that shouldn't happen uh, youngsters or middle age any age individual should be aware of what are the threats posed by uh, the posed in this cyber space that's what we are exactly going to see today i will not be able to cover all these things because what happens is very vast topic if i have to uh, I, i mean really really percolate what i know about all these things it will take concentrated 8 to 10 hours of coaching i'm not saying talking i have to get the work done from you or to discuss with you it's that intense so social threat on uh, uh, i mean threat on social media i'm going to take up now gaming i'm not very uh, i mean you know i will not be able to do it so extortion also will come when we are talking about social media now sugar daddies and sweet aunties concept was there to oblige favors for a, i mean you know something for physical favors that used to happen only in the actual space okay it could have been an academic favor it could have been a promotion in the job whatever kind of stuff or financial favors but now it has percolated to internet space also that is a thing and uh, threat to children so how actually uh, people are threat and dark web business all of you must be knowing like you know bitcoins and other things and dark webs and you know you will have to buy with a cryptocurrency you must have heard these terms now data theft and business uh, threat i mean data theft and business uh, this thing you know that is for business houses actually and also academic houses and uh, and cyber stalking so let us see one by one what we are going to talk so these are all the things so as i said job call letter is one of them dating platform is another nuisance i would say and then you know camera hacking happens stalking happens then profile hacking happens then morphing that is dangerous what i have uh, shown in red is i'm going to talk uh, in detail call or sms spoofing happens and then you know social trolling and deep fakes and uh, you know gaming so these are all the social threats what we are having now first and foremost we are going to see what is camera hacking and why do people hack into somebody else's camera camera hacking is not taking your camera away or you know looking at your photographs it is done i can sit in my own house very much on this computer and you know hack anybody's computer or anybody's camera if i want to that is that powerful so that is where you know people send malware and everything so capturing photographs and videos of persons without their consent through a malware that usually gets downloaded with an attachment try to understand this so somebody sends you a email somebody some advertisement comes or some offer comes so without knowing if you try to download that what happens is then uh, the whole thing gets downloaded and uh, malware also comes with it and that can click your photograph so that is called camera hacking actually so phones with no camera guard can be exploited for such criminal activities please be very very careful all of you whether you are using ios or whether you are using android so please go and check your 
security settings on camera, there is something called as camera. I don't know about other phones, but at least uh, iOS system, iPhones are having all the camera guards, like, you know, uh, they send us completely, uh, I mean, it's all very uh, well arranged, organized. So you need to check that to stop criminal activities. Now I'd like to tell you an incident of a three year old, uh, old parents, what they had. This happened in the United States of America. Usually like, you know, when kids are there, we fit, uh, I mean, CCTV, if, especially if both parents are going out and if the servant is taking care or also even if the child is sleeping alone in the room and then, you know, uh, we put a camera to monitor the kid rather than going over there, right? So actually what happened is they never realized that somebody is hacking their uh, phone, uh, hacking their cameras. So it is actually reported on the Huffington Post. You can read it in detail. So what this guy did is he sent a malware that got attached. Now you may ask, how can he send anything on the CCTV? It is possible. Your CCTV is on your router. So you put it on your uh, internet connection. All your gadgets are on internet connection. He can hack any one of the gadgets and through LAN he can access everything and anything. He can like, access your iPad, your iPhone, your you know, CCTV or a MacBook or your uh, laptop, anything and everything he can do, you know. So that is what he had done. So every day this uh, person used to monitor the baby and also occasionally he would turn the camera on the parents. This is still worse and capture their pictures also. So uh, how these people came to know one day, they, one day they were sleeping and they heard some strange noise on the cam on the, uh, from the baby's room because they were wanting to check whether the kid is asleep. That time they got suspicious, immediately they reported and then the person was caught. See, like parents means even in the baby's room, if the parents are cuddling and hugging, everything gets recorded. So they are on the watch, their computer is rather on the watch. Now, this is another incident every one of you should know. In 2013, like, you know, Miss Teen, her name is uh, I, I, Cassidy Wolf. So what happened to her is like, uh, she had a former uh, classmate who bumped onto her when she became a celebrity. She was an instant celebrity. So they exchanged words. He was a former classmate in a high school. So she trusted naturally. You don't doubt your own friends or your own, uh, you know, people, right? So like, uh, uh, then, you know, what he did is, he silently, he sent her uh, malware to her computer. He started uh, downloading all her photographs. He was capturing all the photographs. See the young and teen girl in her room only coming out and dressing up or uh, going to, uh, I mean, you know, coming out of the bathroom, whatever, whatever, all these photographs, semi-nude and nude pictures he got and he sent it to her and he threatened her. If you don't take off all your clothes in front of the camera and then pose for me, I am going to publicize these pictures. By then the girl was a celebrity. But you know what, she was very bold and she told her parents, the first thing what we have to teach our kids is, please confide in your parents. So she went to the parents and told her, this is what is happening. They filed a case and this man was sentenced for one and a half years of prison with a hefty fine. Now, remember, this can happen only abroad because parents and children share that bond. Now, most of the Indian parents, whenever a child comes and says, you know something, he has taken my pictures and all that. Most of the parents, I'm not saying all, the first reaction is how he will do it. You must have done it. You must have given him the lift. You must have done this. We start snapping our kids. That is the reason our children will not confide these things with us. So it is a warning signal for all the parents that please develop that trust. Your kid, you should trust. Even if they do something wrong, you should be there. Beta. You don't bother. I am there for you. Let us come out of it. That should be our approach. So that's the uh, thing which we understand. Now this actually I told, uh, I already discussed this, but let me take you quickly. Now, how does a hacker enter your camera? So phishing is the most common thing. The most common app approach what he uses is through the gadget, through email messages and, you know, which gives to claim an information or entertainment to readers or superb offers. So the minute you click, sorry, click on that, uh, the malware gets downloaded. So what is the lesson you have to learn from here? 
don't trust any strange emails however nice and flashy it looks please don't click on those links and you know download try to download anything another tactic involves is like uh, enticing the uh, email recipients to visit the website hackers know is of a great interest to the vic uh, victims so this is called as water holing the website actually downloads some malware into the viewers machine now how this happens now we all talk you know there was a big discussion about whatsapp your data is getting sold your data is getting sold half the people understood half the people didn't understand so what they felt is what data they are going to store like you know um, um, what is there in my life to store that data no it is not you don't understand your name your age your interest and the kind of uh, you know shopping you are doing even if you do online shopping they just check out oh you are visiting amazon you are visiting mintra so whatever or you know mns whatever you are visiting those website they take note of it and they will send it they will clone the ad in such a way that suppose you buy from marks and spencers your clothes so that ms only will send you a email so you should be doubly careful don't suddenly download i mean you know click on anything so there the malware comes so this is called as water holing enticing completely so when the readers follow the sender's instructions they unwittingly download malware into the devices now to tell you one of our i mean uh, one of the ladies whom i know she herself is a software engineer and uh, she sent me an attachment that uh, amazon is giving there is an offer of amazon they are giving iphone for free amazon and free forget it nothing is free in this world there is no free lunch at all everybody has to pay price for whatever they get so and i didn't know actually because it came from a software engineer with all my awareness i started following the steps then two three like you know they were asking where i got the doubt is uh, tell your phone number tell this and uh, you know courier charges this much alert i said hey like i need to check here why it will send so immediately i stopped and most of the times all these whatsapp messages people have the habit of forwarding without reading i make this sentence again without reading is a very important word you all should remember because half the time i call this as whatsapp university you know so everybody is a like saint and everybody is a philosopher on whatsapp somebody forwards something they don't even read two three things they read they feel very empowered if they punch it to you know forward 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 for eight to 10 people so that is not the correct thing what you are doing so try to curtail that habit i wish whatsapp would keep charges you know it should keep well 5 rupees for one whatsapp message then let me see how many people want to share unnecessary messages are posted unnecessary things are done i to put my um, i mean some of the groups i am part of i put it on silent all the time one fine day i just delete the things without even seeing because it becomes beyond uh, reach and it is also dangerous for your machine so in many instances they send uh, you know rat to your computer or your gadgets rat is remote access trojan and the viruses are particularly invasive forms of malware that can give you know complete control of the device to the person who wants to monitor you now you all must be knowing about trojan wars and uh, those who at least read little literature or so i mean you know uh, if you have studied uh, i mean world history you must be knowing about trojan wars and what is trojan horse right so the malware name is taken as rat remote access trojan now how do we do about how do we control this webcam in, uh, intrusion that is the next uh, thing so first thing is avoid clicking any of your uh, you know suspicious mails instant messengers and uh, anything wherever even if it comes from a reputable source suppose say you are a customer of icici bank icici bank sends an email but it will not tell you to call on a particular number always you go to their trusted website and then find out a number and then you call and confirm don't give anything and these days kyc detail fraud is or rampant they send you a message we are talking i mean we are trying to contact you you are not taking the call so please i can call we are calling from icici bank we are calling from hdfc bank please tell us like you know all the, we want to update your kyc details now listeners please be aware nobody asks you any of your kyc details 
on phone or uh, through email if anything comes like that you will be knowing at least one person your relationship manager or a manager of the bank or if nobody is there go to their trusted website and find out a number or take your passbook and check their number talk to them have you sent this email to me so am i supposed to give because nobody asks you you know how actually happens people are sitting anywhere and everywhere they pose as bank customers they have somehow they gather all your details your account number and everything if you give i'll talk a little bit about it when i talk on finance fraud i'll go ahead and talk but do not use phone number provided in the email this i told you and also one more thing when i'm talking about uh, finding the phone numbers what habit we have is suppose i want uh, like uh, any bank like you know american bank a phone number i want what i'll do i'll google it when you google it whatever the first thing comes na it may not be a reliable number please understand go to that if whatever bank american bank if you are searching go on their website official website and check don't take whatever comes for some uh, sometimes we are in a hurry so whatever the first phone number comes that may be a hoax phone number the hacker hacker has used because google has no control over these activities you must be knowing about sem right a search engine optimization search engine marketing so you pay a particular amount and your thing comes up so it could be that also be very very careful even if it is uh, spend i mean you know about a 10 rupee transaction or 10 lakhs transaction doesn't matter you need to be very careful so another thing i'll tell you most of the time we feel now who has hacked my computer how i will know i won't know right so when you are not using the computer never leave the machine and go around and uh, you know start changing or you know uh, get into any other thing so what you could do is when you are not using machine is on and when you are not using all you have to do is take a piece of cloth and put it on the camera see now you cannot see anything this is the healthy habit so i put i always keep the cloth around with me a small piece of cloth a dark cloth or something to cover your camera so that nobody can access your camera okay now do not use default uh, this is another thing many a times people have seen what kind of passwords they will keep suppose my name is arundhati they might take first four or five letters or you know first three letters aru 1 2 3 4 5 next time change the password the prompt comes aru 3 4 5 6 7 these are all very very your name your date of birth your children's name and this xyz and 1 2 3 4 are very very easily crackable passwords so you have to make passwords unique you know and lengthy and complex combination of upper case and lower case uh, letters and numbers and exotic characters so that nobody can hack into your account on any platform now please take a note of this Kaspersky Labs it offers an Android app called as IoT Scanner. This is completely free. You can download it. This software analyzes your home network and makes a list of all the connected uh, devices and reveals common cyber security vulnerabilities. Suppose anybody is trying to hack your phone, uh, hack your machine. Alert comes. Somebody is intruding. Some you know you get a message. This is a beautiful software. because of cyber crime is increasing they have provided this free kaspersky lab for kaspersky lab now let me talk about financial frauds actually gang in delhi steals 89000 rupees by hacking into emails see one cookie came and they clicked on that person clicked on that and uh, you know malware was sent and his account details were hacked and he was he lost 89000 rupees within a matter of no matter i have given you the link you could read that you know and lottery bait is another common thing oh like it used to be, to begin with cyber crime uh, started with lottery bait and you know oh i am staying in london and i have lots of money and i am looking out for a good person and i read about you a lot about you so then you know i want to make you my beneficiary i want to transfer all my accounts can you please send me your email account and all that stuff so be very 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 careful so these are all the things and betting lottery oh you have won suddenly you know like millions of dollars so click on this link and pay these charges and all the money is yours no please don't do that these are all financial fraud you can read it online 
then mumbai man dupe uh, dupe of 2.5 lakhs on online kyc update fraud i was talking about kyc update fraud no so they sit in the slums they sit in the fields they anywhere they sit and they call you oh i am calling from bank then you will ask bank means you will at least know one person oh is it uh, mr uh, whatever like you know mr dubey or whatever whatever you say oh, is it uh, him talking yeah yeah i am manager dubey only they will he will pose and they know exactly how to talk you madam like you know your nominee details are uh, not correct so can you please repeat it you want you and out you will say then you will say madam just once repeat your uh, account number and uh, this is i mean you know all the kyc details they take your aadhar number aadhar number is a boon and also a bane a person having your aadhar number can access each and every information about you because that is linked so extremely be careful where you submit and one more thing i want to tell you even you buy on amazon or flipkart or whatever like online shopping you do please destroy your name tag what comes on the packet please wash it sometimes na if you try to tear it they put the plastic and all that it doesn't go keep it soaked in water wash it rub that smudge that and then throw sometimes when it is thro thrown in the i mean you know outside trash people pick up from there and they might cause you such incidents have taken place somebody went and he, uh, that man's profile was uh, on the uh, like uh, facebook so what happened is uh, uh, like they say, they they knew that that is uh, they went with a bouquet and this guy went there so he says uh, what happened like you know uh, madam uh, like we have received a bouquet from whom i don't know madam i am just a delivery boy it may be written over there so please take it but you know what there was some problem so you need to pay sir and also a big box was there a gift and uh, it is more in weight so you need to pay 1500 rupees ma'am see small time frauds will give away to big frauds and then you know wife said 1500 rupees why we don't even know we don't want to then husband wedding anniversary or in a good mood so he said are it's okay somebody must have sent they do isme kya hai like you know 1500 only na so let us give so they gave 1500 and went away and they open it the entire box is empty and that flower bouquet whatever he had got would have cost them some 100 or 200 rupees this was a small dupe this can happen tomorrow too it can lead to so many things now this is the most recent one it came, it appeared in like you know 29 february 2022 this year only 74 year man lost all his life savings to cyber fraud 28 lakhs were stolen in 10 uh, you know 10 uh, transaction after this man uh, uh, entered a conversation and gave his bank details so be extremely careful and also i'll tell you something retired people and old people are very soft targets because after retirement they have accumulated some money some graduate everyone gets some uh, ramp, uh, lump sum right that would be there and unfortunately people i am not making it a general it's not a comment this is my observation about 50 people do not i mean the current generation of 55 and above or 50 and above they are not very tech savvy it's not that they are not intelligent they are intelligent but they don't take interest very chodo like who will want to bother we don't know so what best they know is whatsapp forwarding on whatsapp facebook they will have learnt and uh, checking email other than these three people are not aware of any of the online transactions so it's very easily these people can be fooled so you need to be extremely careful it's a uh, it's a my humble request for all the senior citizens try to learn and be with the flow and learn about the gadgets and read on and read a lot of stuff is available on the internet you could read and understand the stuff all right now i come to a million dollar question on a women's day are women safe on the internet you could type your response on the this thing okay obviously you will say no women are not safe on the internet then i pose a second question to you do you mean to say that men are safe on the internet any responses for this are men safe on the internet you can type i am waiting oh uh, are we, are men also safe on the internet i think mr kulkarni has said no no men are also not safe very good at least you have some kind of awareness 
Now let me narrate what happened in your own neighborhood. You know. Uh, now, this is a case, okay? Cyber stalking case. This has happened in your neighborhood. That is in Ghat Kopar. Four men abducted a person, 22-year-old guy, on 8th December 2019. Now how, and uh, you know, raped him and then beaten him up and threw him away on the road. Now how this whole thing happened? This man, he had just started working and uh, 10 30 uh, night on Sunday, he went to a restaurant on a Kurla road and uh, he was a good looking guy and he clicked his picture. So we are all actually today's generation, all of us who are living on the planet right now are obsessed with our own selves. We have to look good and what angle I'm looking good. So camera conscious and posting it on Instagram, posting it on Facebook. So this boy also posted the thing on the Instagram. So immediately two men started liking and sending the heart and everything. And within 15 minutes, they reached the venue. Oh my God, you are such a hunk. Like you look so handsome. Why don't you come for a fag? Let's go, go and smoke. This, this man told his sims, no, I don't smoke. I'm so, Are you don't smoke. So we will smoke. Come now, come along. So they took him there. And they took him on a very, very, uh, you know, lonely airport road from that Kurla, wherever they picked him. And uh, there was a car waiting for him. And they pushed this uh, man into the car. And all the three of them started sodomizing this man. And the fourth one who rape, who was a victim of raping him was unfortunately a minor. Just understand the limit how our kids, how our youths are shaping into. And then they beat him up very badly and then put him around 1.30 uh, a.m. in the morning. They were kind enough not to take his life. They just dumped him off the road and went and somehow this man managed to reach back home. The uh, parents filed a complaint. See, here again, any such thing happening also, people are very sensitive. They don't even want to report because for the fear of tagging, nay, nay, like family ka reputation, what my neighbor will think, what others will think, what, I mean, you know, his colleagues will think, but, you know, they did a good thing. It was, it was an eye-opener. Now, I have not followed the case, what happened, whether the person is arrested. So that also depends on the victim's luck. I don't have to speak more about how our judiciary system and police system works, right? I don't want to talk about that. Now, this is another thing. Like, you know, you sh I, we should be proud of. A 35-year-old first convict in cyber stalking case in the state happened very recently. That too in Maharashtra. 35-year-old, he will serve for three months in jail. And this is the first conviction in, uh, you know, cyber uh, cyberspace or cyber stalking. Now, you should be very careful in accepting Facebook requests from friends of friends. See, you know your friend, but let me tell you, whether it is your colleague or your classmate or your neighbor or your friend, how much do you know him? You're not there with him or her by 24 by seven. So you will have some information about them. So if, if they're friends, so we have no access only. So just because somebody poses as a friend of your good friend, don't accept the things until and unless you check their profile because most of the time they are impersonating somebody and then trying to fool people. So if you want, you could read this 20 recent cases of cyber stalking. Otherwise it will go, I can't, I can go on and on, but it will make no sense. So this is just the data. Cyber crimes are increasing day by day. The latest data what I had was I have is about 2019. It is 63.5 in cyber stop, uh, cyber crime cases uh, are on the rise, especially during the COVID time and all that. The online frauds and online uh, stalking and online porn has increased to limits. Now this is the recent crime I would like to talk. It is in our neighborhood. This man. He knew, see, he, stay, he was staying, he's staying in a decent colony. Now, if it is your neighbor, maybe like, you know, you know the guy for four years, five years, six years. But when a person is taken over by Satan, you never know. So there is nothing permanent in this world. Even good people are not permanent, bad people are not permanent. Like anybody can turn anyhow. So you need to be careful. You need, you need to be on your guard. So this guy was friendly with so many girls and... Uh, Coming from a middle class, good family, it's not that, you know, he is coming from uh, 
Goon's family, so he did this. No, educated guy. He has recently started working also. I think he lost his job during the COVID or something. So what he did is he collected, he had the phone number of 200 women from his own neighborhood, his own colony, whom he met and whatever. And he sold it in the dark web with a price tag. Can you just believe it? A guy whom you know doing this. So this also has appeared. If you go online, I've given the link. You can read about it. So 200 women, they started getting call. Oh, are you free today? Like, you know, we, we heard that your rate is this. So I want to uh, meet you. All nonsense. And all these girls were alarmed. And first they were scared to tell teenagers and post teens. They were scared to tell their parents also. They said, we are, I'm getting a call like this. The other one said, or they started talking. I also got, and uh, he's asking, is this your price? What nonsense? Then the something alerted them. They went and told the parents, um, like, you know, see how it is happening. And I'm getting the calls like this. And they are asking me, will you come here? Will you come there? And should I book a hotel or you book a hotel? What nonsense cropped up. And then they went to the police station. They arrested the man. He was giving beatings. I don't know what, uh, like, uh, him, they must have paid him on uh, money or something. Or is he imprisoned? I have no idea so be very, extremely careful. Now I go to social trolling. See, social trolling, it may seem very small thing, but there are actually, it is a cyber bullying. Social trolling means it comes out of cyber bullying. Now, suppose somebody posts a photograph and there is a, the girl is very pretty, let us say, but somehow she is not accepted in a group. You all know, know how you, the gangs and groups and the cliques work in the college space and high schools and all that. So like, uh, I, I mean, you know, then, you know, the guy will say, okay, she has posted the photograph. So no, I want, I don't want anybody to pay any comment. So please don't comment. This girl, she's looking fantastic and she has put it and uh, there is no comment coming, nothing coming up. After two, three days already, she's upset that nobody is responding to her. So many friends I have on Facebook. Then, you know, slowly, slowly, sarcastic remarks or bad remarks start coming on that. So the girl gets upset. And sometimes they start body shaming. Oh, you look like this, you are like this. So, and I will leave remarks, they will start posting. So this can hurt, especially the youngsters very much. And another, so trolling is defined as a, like uh, as created online by starting upsetting people by posting inflammatory or off topic messages in an online community. A social media troll sometimes purposely does it something to rise out of uh, something, turn out of something. But remember, even a WhatsApp group, it is not just the Facebook and Instagram I'm talking about, even on WhatsApp. If you write flared messages or if you body shame somebody and if you share porn content with somebody, the other person can frame you. So cyber laws are very, very stringent now, but many people are unaware. Now we know IPC has got so many things and we know, okay, if you murder, you will get this. If you defame somebody, you will get this. All the Indian law and that also in our judiciary system, it takes a very long process. But cyber laws are now tightening because a lot of online frauds are happening. And there are people who are committing suicide because they were trolled on social media. And, uh, you know, they get upset. Another thing, why this happens also, I'll tell you. Somewhere, we have failed as adults to instill that self-confidence in kids. Why? Because, you know, like, why you should get upset if somebody doesn't like your post? But today the situation is, even I have seen my own colleagues, people of my age and little lesser, people in 50s, the minute they put, they have to see how many likes are there. I just don't care. I am who I am. I should be confident. I am good and I know that. Whether somebody likes me, whether somebody doesn't like me, it should not upset me. So this is the idea we need to percolate in our youth. Like, you know, don't be, I mean, bothered about how others like you, how much you like yourself. You know you are looking good. That's more than enough. If nobody sees, that is their loss. So that kind of a training we need to give our kids. Now, I want you to understand about Twitter a little bit. Case of Justin Sacco. You could type this, you will be able to read the whole thing. I'll quickly tell you what uh, this is. This happened in January, February time, you know, 2015. This Justin Sacco, in a very respectable job in NYC, that is New York, 
she was struggling to meet her relatives or grandparents in Cape Town. So before, it's a very long journey, na, 16, 17 hours journey. So people have that kida, something happens, so just want to do time pass. So before the final leg, uh, like, you know, taking the last flight to there, she was on a Heathrow airport and she was going around and all. So she wrote a, uh, she tweeted, what did she tweet? Going to Africa. Hope I don't get AIDS. Oh, just kidding. I'm white. This was the message she posted. And she was chuckling as so she did, wow, like people will like it and all that. And she went and hardly she has 170 uh, Twitter followers, not a very uh, social media person. And sporadically, she checked the message. Nobody had replied. She was not surprised. But when the plan landed in Cape Town, she turned her phone on. So many messages started flooding her phone right away. Somebody who had uh, was her classmate who had not seen her for ages. Her high school classmate tweeted, I'm so sorry to see what is happening. And Sako was baffled. Somebody else texted, God save you from this situation. She didn't understand what is happening. And then when she got down, there was Morcha, Africa. And she tweeted some crude jokes on Twitter, like Sako. I mean, you know, we are about to watch you. Watch this, at Justin Sako. You know, you, you will get fired in real time before even she knows she is getting fired. So these were all the things. There was more chars and everything. And trust me, she got fired because it was a racist comment. I mean, what does she mean to say? It is only for, uh, I mean, a particular community, only Africans? No, that's human beings are human beings, good or bad, whatever, everywhere it was. So it created such a havoc. So Twitter is another place. You need to be extremely careful because most of the people are following Twitter. See, Twitter is for information and the Facebook is for your socializing and getting the network and everything. Instagram is like, you know, for showcasing. Again, it's a, again, Instagram is more dangerous than Facebook because you need to have a tight security uh, settings. I'll come to you why it is dangerous. So this is, uh, you could read about it in detail. So what is the solution for this? We need to be completely responsible on social media. The much debated provisions under IPC criminalizing sexual harassment was amended in 2013. Additions were made to Section 354 Assault and Criminal Force uh, to women with the intent to outrage, try to understand. Outrage in the modesty of a woman physically, that is completely different. This is with the intent. Now, intent means if you send a porn message, even if, if she is your girlfriend, and if the things go sore in you, she can frame you into legal hassle. So be please careful of what messages you pass on and what you send. And you think you have sent something on the obscene picture or obscene message on WhatsApp and the minute you delete, it's gone. No, it doesn't go anywhere. It remains in the space. Recently, you must have uh, noticed, you know, uh, one murder case was there and so there are so many sugar daddy and then that actress were tagged and all their conversation was tracked. And also like uh, uh, now a recent uh, case is a film actor's husband was involved in porn and selling porn and everything and how he was tracked. So social media is a very, very sensitive place and a dangerous place you need to be understanding properly. So when a person, uh, you know, posts lewd comments on the social media, they are liable under three, section IPC section 354A and punishment is one year plus a hefty fine. Also posting messages content related to pornography to any woman. See, she may be in good terms with you, she may enjoy, but you never know. She might someday, she say, I don't like this nonsense. Why he is or she is sending? It's not always a man sending messages to woman or woman sending messages to man. Even if a boy sends a message to another boy, he can frame you for that. A woman sending to another woman, he can frame you or she can frame you for that. Be extremely, extremely careful on this page. And uh, with the intent to outrage modesty, again, 509 uh, IPC. So the recent amendment has uh, increased the punishment to three years jail along with hefty fine. And your reputation is gone. That is the secondary thing. But you will be also jailed. And once you go and get that uh, stamp of jail, you know how it uh, impacts the individual. So be responsible on social media. Then we come to voyeurism. You must be knowing about voyeurism already. That's the, it's a 
uh, both IPC and IT Act list voyeurism as an offense if a man captures the image of a woman engaged in a private act or without her consent or in a compromising position. Under Section 354 C IPC, it holds a man liable for minimum one year imprisonment and you know uh, to maximum three years along with hefty fine. Now you may ask like how how a person can take photographs like that? Is he going to spy? I told you just talked about camera hacking. So that also could be linked to wireism. Or when you go to a hotel, the cameras are fitted. So that is where you have to go to a proper source or anything like people can dupe you in any way. So you, you should be extremely careful. So the law can't be invoked in circumstances where a woman wouldn't uh, usually have the expectation to be observed. Recently, if you remember, I don't know how many of you have read it in the newspaper. One of the malls in Thane, like uh, they were, uh, they used to keep a, a guy used to keep a camera in the dressing room of women and they used to, they would change and they would uh, trial room. So he was caught. So one woman censored something is fishy and then she was the one who, who caught it and then brought it to this thing. So these are all the kinds of voyeurism that can happen. Now we come to deep fakes. Now deep fakes actually a photograph or a video of a person in which their face and body has been digitally altered and so that they appear as someone else typically used maliciously to spread false information. The committee hearing the worldwide threat cited deep face as a growing concern. That's the topic of discussion today. Now you may say like, you know, uh, when I said, don't post a lot of pictures on the Facebook, even if you face, put that security tight, Instagram, be very careful. See what happens is if you post a very your face only you're posting and little bit of uh, low neckline clothes or something you're worn all the young girls and all that there's nothing wrong in wearing it's your comfort what you want to wear I'm not commenting on that but be extremely careful how your photograph can be misused they can just take that nowadays you don't have to be skilled also there are so many apps available for doing all these things so all these youngsters get in, or hackers they get into it. They sell your photographs. Your face can be attached to any photograph and they can, I mean, body and body shaming, whatever, like then they will uh, sell it into the dark web. So that is what happens. Now, there are two ways of morphing. One is a triangulation and face morphing. Now, if you see, this is Barack Obama, right? But actually it is not Barack Obama's photograph. This is morphed on this man. So it is an art. This requires little skill. Like how we, when we draw a portrait, what we do, we take a time and, you know, the proper uh, grades and then we develop like that. It's a triangulation method, which all of may not know, but this also happens. Now, the right side, what I'm showing, a famous actress's face uh, attached over here. This is a complete deep fake in the sense apps are there to do. The original lady is this, and this is the fake photographs. You, you can hardly make out. And there are, that is how so many times we get uh, an actress getting out of a swimming pool without wearing anything and her photograph is circulated. Everyone says, Are, karti hai. Kya? she does, no, please don't do that and don't circulate such uh, you know, useless messages. This, this can happen to actresses, this can happen to you also. So be very careful what you're posting, where you're posting and um, uh, maintain a proper this thing. So this is about uh, face morphing and triangulation. Now, how to stay safe in a cyberspace? Lock your profile on social media. Never share location of the public domain. Some people have the habit. They just, you know, I don't know many of them. Oh, I'm off to NYC, just reaching the airport. And I'm just sitting in the plane now. Why, whom you want to show and sharing the location or going to Leela's for dinner and writing, I'm at Leela's, fantastic venue and what a dinner. I mean, you know, you're sharing your location. So hackers or those, uh, I mean, you know, people, stalkers, they are looking. I mean, you know, where you're going, what you're doing, what kind of restaurant you visit, what kind of movie you visit, what kind of purchases you make. And then they will prepare a proper way of working with you and then frame you. So be extremely careful, never share the location. Disable location from your phone only when you want to share a location where you reach to a friend. If they are wanting to reach that time, you can switch on. Otherwise, keep the location disabled. We don't, we are not celebrities, we are not prime ministers and president that 
we give every minute update. Oh, I'm just out of the house. I'm getting into the car. I reach this place. I'm reaching there. No need. Nobody is bothered about you. You're nothing. You're so insignificant in front of the entire system. So don't, uh, this one I wanted to really, really caution you guys, like especially the youngsters, don't support any views or posts against the organization, against the government, against the individual and against the religion. And first thing is we need to inculcate a culture in our uh, organizations, whatever it is, whether it's a school, college, corporate house, big or small, anywhere. So loyalty towards the organization rather than individuals is something we have to drill and subtly every day on day-to-day -day basis, we have to bring it into our employees because that is the thing. Never criticize your, uh, criticize your institution that is uh, given you job Never criticize uh, your person who is superior to and taking care of the superior in the sense, not inferior and superior, who is in a managerial position and who is working hard for you. So try to understand and be very, very careful with this and government and individual and religion. Recently, a couple of youths, one youth was killed from Karnataka also for uh, supporting, uh, writing some, some religious view. I don't want to talk it openly. All of you know, you all are media friendly. This is a recent last month incident with us. Don't forward indecent pictures and messages to others, even for fun. Are he is my friend, he enjoys, nobody is your friend, nobody is your foe. Actually, in life, in reality, there is no friend, there is no foe. Anybody, there is a person X, person Y, I always tell it in my interpersonal skill seminars also. I am person A, you are person B. As long as I am convenient to you, I listen to you, I am useful to you, I am your friend. The minute I stick on to my own views or I go against you, I am your folk. And there is no permanent friendship. There is no permanent enmity also. So be extremely careful with whom, what messages you share. Don't accept any friend a request, a friend request from any of the strangers. Don't click on an unknown link or untrusty website. And if you have any cyber crime concerns, you could use this uh, uh, website. HTTPS uh, www.cybercrime.gov.in of MHA. So this is for our Maharashtra. And uh, actually the cybercrime cell is doing a lot of work and you could uh, immediately report it and uh, the necessary action will be taken. And all the youngsters or old people, whoever it is, any such a thing happening with you, please don't hesitate to share with your own family members. Don't think it's a stigma. Nothing is stigma. Even if you're 70 year old or you are trying to socialize and uh, you know talk to somebody, meet somebody, it's normal, it's okay. But something backfires you, please share it with your children. They are much more tech savvy, they know what to do. So share our children, obviously share it with your parents. So you should not hesitate. Collectively, we all can prevent these things. So now I come to safety measures on uh, Facebook. All of you may be knowing it, but those who want to take or you can take a screenshot of this or you can just take a picture of it uh, or it is self-teaching you on the right side of uh, you know there is a downward arrow appears on your uh, facebook when you click on your profile go to settings and privacy click on the settings and on the left side there is a window opening up with so many things and fourth one is the privacy click on that left side third one is your facebook activity just disable that, click on off. Facebook activity, then you know, click scroll down. Then there is an option, clear previous history and then put it off and future of all the activities, disable this. If you, if you are not uh, enable this feature, when you do it, you will see, it will even show what online shopping and everything you made will be there on your Facebook, try to understand this. So anybody can get access then Click on the location and select off location history and whatever is shared already will totally be erased. That is how your data gets leaked. So if anybody wants, you could just take a screenshot or you could just click a photograph of this. It, I guess it will be helpful. In case you don't know, I'm not presuming that you all don't know. You must be knowing it. All right. So guys, like, you know, stay safe online. Learn more of cyber security and, uh, you know, completely stay, uh, you know, block whatever it is. And if anybody start, any stranger 
by mistake you have admitted a stranger in your facebook group and every day morning evening he starts sending good good evening good morning good evening messages then it comes to good evening and sweet dreams and then they say oh in which area are you sharing do you mind sharing your phone number i want to talk with you this is how they will get entice you and it can lead to big time crimes i to as i told you it's a very vast topic because we started 10 minutes late i took uh, 10 minutes extra otherwise my thing was primed exactly for one hour anyway so stay cyber safe and uh, i hope all of you enjoyed uh, this and uh, in case you have any of the queries or any of the questions i would be uh, glad to take it do you have any queries you could unmute and talk or you could uh, have you typed anything in the chat box no ma'am until now no one has typed anything in the chat room i will request my friends to please come up with your queries and questions if you if you want you can ask anything so if you don't have questions it means do two things <laughs> you really got the information or <laughs> you didn't hear me at all okay ma'am uh, i will ask uh, want to ask one question for you yes please 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 yeah, ma'am you know. uh, one of the student has raised his hand vinayak ha uh, please please vinayak go ahead uh, good afternoon ma'am good afternoon vinayak ma'am what are the legal remedies available after uh, cyber crime as i told you le legalities are very very complicated vinayak it can mean to 5 lakhs to 10 lakh fines also fine you may be fined plus there will be i mean spoiling of your name and tag so that is a by product you don't have to ask for it but imprisonment also is there you could be imprisoned from 6 months to 10 years it all depends on how substantially somebody who is complaining against you stocks all your information it's called as case building if any lawyers have joined they'll be able to say so first we'll have to build up the files and the case if i want to prove you wrong i can't talk in open air oh he did like this he did like that all emotional uh, purges will not help we have to build a proper case against you so it depends on that what kind of crimes you are committed and what kind of uh, act can be applied but it is now becoming very very strict and stringent i hope i am able to answer your query anybody else okay anybody else will ask will have to ask any questions or something please raise your hand or type it in the chat box no you could unmute and talk it's okay now to uh, whatever i wanted to talk i finished so there is nothing like you could uh, you could ask directly just unmute and uh, start talking okay ma'am Uh, so we are having among us uh, with honor uh, our honorary secretary of vidya prasarak mandal advocate vijay kulkarni sir okay. i would like to welcome him on behalf of cwdc so okay. i request you sir to please address us on the occasion of the women day oh i got scared mr vijay kulkarni is going to ask me question <laughs> no 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 first of all happy women's day and uh, we are lucky to have maximum uh, uh, women candidates working with us so the parliamentary process of granting reservation is not applicable to vpm because <laughs> they are already with 80% plus and in any case it is a tough job to manage both so you are managers at home and managers at the institution and yes. still uh, women generally perform better than men in many areas and uh, there is no you know uh, harm in admitting the performance the gender is secondary okay yes, so we yes. can't really stick to that old outdated concept that men and women and all that so we have to really appreciate the true efforts good efforts okay so it is a tough job so for us it is easy sitting at home and ordering coffee tea and still expect performance at home and in office so it's hats off to every working uh, females when women i really admire the efforts okay hats off to you secondly all the best for the rest of the career with us and uh, outside whatever career you are pursuing including studies 
and uh, we are with you our employees and also students on this occasion this is a wonderful session by a wonderful uh, uh, international speaker our own community member and i welcome uh, dr arundhati hoskeri to vpm's family as a managing committee member she has successfully garnered maximum votes and she is elected as a managing committee member of vidya prasarak mandal so she is going to be with us for the initial term of 3 years and thereafter also so ma'am you are most welcome and thank you sir <laughs> this is a nice way very good way of uh, connecting an intellectual with an intellectual group that is our teachers and students coming back to uh, cyber crime and cyber safety and cyber as a world okay so i with your permission i would like to speak about 5 to 7 minutes because the point is this is not a session okay so you can admit that today you can have a uh, control over your breath you can afford to not to breathe for 10 minutes 5 minutes 2 minutes depending upon your capacity but if your battery is down if there is no network you are unable to contact somebody then you will feel like your heart will definitely have some stress because the connectivity lost now today as a legal practitioner as a employer sitting in my other role in vpm also advisor to many companies and proprietors of concerns banks and also i am a ex banker about 11 years i have served the banking industry now so many changes are happening in india okay so today if you see when i was in my district <coughs> when i was studying uh, commerce bcom what used to happen you come outside many senior citizens housewives they used to sit next to your colony in the compound in the chawl in the uh, colonies in the you know markets here and there they used to have many groups okay so there was no such opportunity for them to uh, get connected with a larger group larger group there were hardly any opportunity okay at the most they used to curse okay tumhara husband ka itna salary hai mera to koi kamata hi nahi hai pura din ghar pe baitha rehta hai this that or my husband got a bonus he got a promotion all good and bad things okay they used to have a, a very limited forum but today what is happening connectivity but if you really analyze this word connectivity internet and the mobile rates when i got my when i was working with morgan stanley my first mobile phone was given by my employer and my incoming rate was 14 rupees outgoing was also 14 rupees per call per minute okay so therefore today if you see whatever becomes cheap it will lead to an offense take it from me whatever becomes cheap it be, it will lead to an offense i can talk on it for hours but the point the point which i am trying to make here is the risk involved in unnecessary communications see today irrespective of age group we have instances of children fighting in the whatsapp groups leading to their moms fighting to each other going to the principals going to even police stations now coming back to elderly people family groups you you make a summary or analyze <coughs> it is good that we are getting connected but if you really work on database internet has actually disconnected us from many people than connecting us it has connected us with irrelevant people it has disconnected with most relevant people take it from me now as far as i was watching madam's lecture and hearing very carefully while working in my office but the point here is every word is important today i could see like i am in a, some college in bandra where in all these heavy lectures are generally heard in mithibai college or in some ruya college or here and there we are lucky to introduce this kind of uh, senior speakers who are coming with rich experience of international exposure certain things are new for vpm we are really uh, thinking out of box it is a need of our now one of my friend asked on the screen what is an offense how much is the penalty okay kitna paisa jayega are boss paisa to baad mein jayega aapka trial kabhi chalu hoga court mein do you understand the trial process one of my client came to me with the, his brother his wife was chatting with somebody in uk you know the mechanism adopted 
is not even whatsapp they had agreed mutually they were college friends because this husband was not talking to the wife because he was busy with laptop 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 work from home and this female sitting at home what she will do so she got in touch with her college friend some unnecessary group so they agreed that we will use a dummy yahoo id okay and then both of us will share the password you will write because the timing is different no india and uk so you will write and i will reply next day morning but we will not send the message please understand the transact the conversation will remain in the draft mode forever so no police nobody will be able to track both of us but what happens har chor ek saboot chhod ke jata hai right filmon mein aap logo ne suna hai aur kanun ke hath lambe rehte bhale hamara bhi hath aapke jaisa hi chote chote rehte lekin thoda lambe rehte the point here is what happened one day wife of my client was chatting with that guy for a longer time she was working full day guests at home khana banao ye karo wo karo then she wanted just to touch base with the friend so he was online oh hi hello chalo ho gaya then everything was as decided they never sent any message it remained in draft but wo bichari thak ke so gayi the morning when husband was using that particular laptop that screen was on it was not sent the whole family was in deep trouble then they came to me i counseled we saved the marriage it's a big story but please be careful see you have to have one big board at home or in your mobile you keep one thing aap log aaj tak jo pahunche hai na koi bhi situation mein this is something you know a result of you are probably 10 generations see up don't forget about all these things the moment you go to police station ye sab yaad aa jayega aapko right and the moment police comes to your residence people will become curious to know your name surname tab tak aapko koi diwali ka bhi wishes nahi bechega because people will get masala to discuss aapko pata hai uske ghar pe police aaye the aapko pata hai usko leke gaye okay they will suddenly get active and this message will again get viral please understand people want to discuss about an offense but they will start committing an offense by talking about you somewhere see if you are acquitted without any charge being proved in the police station in the before the court magistrate other neighbors and your society group friends group aapko pata hai isne ye kiya hai wo kiya usko saza ho jayega are magistrate chhod dega but aapko saza ho jayega for circulating this kind of defamatory messages everywhere so therefore this is one part of the story please be careful secondly senior citizens some people are so idle karodon ka paisa bacha hai unka koi achievement ka sunne wala bhi nahi hai sab son daughter daughter in law everybody want to only see the fdrs fixed deposit receipts nobody want to see the success stories then what will happen they will form a senior citizen group society group tune message bheja maine bheja main bank manager tha tum to sipahi tha are tumne mujhe kaisa bheja uske 10 log aayenge aapke 10 so imagine one mobile phone creating week i come across this kind of things every week one or two instances so why you have to react why you have to receive such messages so wisely manage your gadget restrict yourself to the most required groups okay as far as the offense are concerned there are offenses which are having conviction up to 3 years they are bailable in nature beyond 3 years non bailable you will be arrested cognizable offenses now the point is what is bailable what is not bailable all that is legality but the point is the amount of inconvenience which your family is going to undergo it's going to be hell right simultaneously people buy 1 lakh rupees worth laptop 1 lakh worth mobile but they don't care to install a 500 rupees or 1000 rupees antivirus buy antivirus good antivirus one last example i will share one senior citizen from dombivli near vishnunagar police station called me okay how this cyber thieves 
द गैंग ऑपरेट दे कॉल्ड इम सर आपका जो वोडाफोन का नंबर है ना पांच मिनट में बंद होने वाला है देन दैट गाय वॉज ऑन द वे टू हॉस्पिटल टू मीट समी ही गॉट स्केर्ड सो ही सेट बेटा क्या करना है नो नो इमीडिएटली यू यू रिफिल इट सो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू रिफिल ही सेट आई डोंट हैव एनी कार्ड आई एम ऑन द वे टू हॉस्पिटल यू टॉक टू माई सन इन लॉ द सन इन लॉ इज अ मोस्ट एजुकेटेड पर्सन ही हैड बैंक प्राइवेट बैंक अकाउंट मेंटेन नियरली सिक्स लैख रुपीज देन ही रिसीव द सेम कॉल आपका बंद होने वाला है दिस दैट एवरी थिंग देन ही वॉज मेड टू कीप द फोन ऑन होल्ड एंड देन दिस गैंग विच वॉज ऑपरेटिंग फ्रॉम बिहार इंस्टिगेटेड हिम टू गिव द ओ टी पी दिस दैट सो फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी मिनिट्स दिस एंटायर फोन दे केप्ट ऑन दे नेवर अलाउड हिम टू डिस्कनेक्ट द मोमेंट ही डिस्कनेक्टेड he received 6 to 7 messages your account is debited with 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh all 6 lakh rupees he lost but he shared six time the otps on the phone please remember the phone was never disconnected so he kept on sharing the otps then they approached me to file an fir in dombivli police station when i was taking instructions from my client the first thing what my client's father in law told me he was working for railway as a very big person i know him and he lives in mulund he told me that otp has been shared the moment otp is shared your case goes police station will not pay attention because when you yourself is sharing the information on o- regarding otp there is no case fir will be weak you can't prove these facts in the court because you are admitting that you are sharing the otp so the concerned private sector bank denied the financial claim this entire 6 lakh successfully siphoned off because when you open the bank account you open the internet account banking separate forms are filled in you never bother to read the contents even if you read the contents you don't remember even if you don't you remember the contents you don't put to use when you actually allow any other person to handle so don't share your passwords don't share don't be part of unnecessary groups have antivirus installed even in your mobile phone and laptops don't allow please understand i was uh, watching and hearing this photograph related misuse see today if you want to download an app from google market or this google store you give permission because the apps are free very attractive most useful you give them permission access to your phone your photographs you will say yes only while during this option your this app or always right so the moment you give permission how can you blame him for uh, copying your data you have given legal permission to access your uh, you know uh, uh, telephone some people just give are chhod do yes yes daba do it is not yes okay court will say no you have to go behind bars therefore understand the legality involved in all these things if you do not understand don't spoil your family's name which they have retained for ages okay so it's a serious matter your mobile phone is everything the morning you get get up it will give you ganpati stotra okay good good mantra or music or some flute or whatever during the day there are opportunities of learning earning and also committing many offenses with or without your knowledge and don't be under impression kisi ko pata nahi chalega our cyber police cyber safety cyber systems are excellent okay they have workload they have less police force that is why sometimes they take time but it is not that police is not doing their job courts are not doing their job but number of cases number of police station and number of courts there is an issue we are not supported by infrastructure by the government okay so therefore don't get trapped in this whole mess because the moment police files fir matter goes to public prosecutor you are not permitted to hire your own lawyer if even if you are a complainant your lawyer can only assist the public prosecutor there are legal impediments 
and to what extent your public prosecutor can do justice to your case god knows because you will be having if you see a rose your board of a mulund mulund magistrate court you will have 150 cases out of which bandup and mulund police station you see 100 cases so beyond some limit you are a paper you are a file in the court there is hardly anybody who works with that kind of com commitment so that everybody gets justice so you will have to hire lawyers who will charge a bomb you will not be able to pay if you cannot pay you will not be getting maximum attention on your case you may get justice so therefore using anything relating to cyber first you need to know the risk elements then use it at least don't bring your family into trouble learning and other things secure learning you have to adopt if you want we will implement certain softwares in our library our computers we will enable you for god's sake before starting your career don't spoil your career okay apart from that these are the topics which we should have interactive sessions in the auditorium so that even if you discuss on this particular topic for 5 to 10 hours continuously without even having a drop of water it is worth because it's going to give you very concrete foundation for your rest of life all the best and uh, my wishes to entire team and all the best to students for the coming uh, forthcoming exams and their own careers and other professional courses if they are pursuing i rest here and thank you very much for the support thank you ma'am thank you sir I would like to formally thank VPM uh, for giving this opportunity. Uh, it was great uh, interacting with you all. It was really great interacting and uh, sharing my knowledge with you all. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Now I, will, now I would like to call my friend Vaishnavi Pawar to proceed with the vote of thanks. Thank you, Karishma. Once a great man said, Kavita. Proceeding with the vote of thanks, I would like to welcome Kiai Rupali Dangar Padam and her team who have come to our institution, VPM Azad Shah College, for. Uh, a workshop on self-defense on the occasion of International Women's Day. So I formally welcome Madam Rupali here and uh, we'll be having this uh, workshop.